So in the last session, we have seen how we can launch an EC2 instance, a Linux instance with the help of mobile XTERM. Now let's see how we can launch a website, a small static website with the help of this particular, uh, the Linux machine. Okay. So mobile XTERM. Now what I would be doing is I would be sharing the link of the website, which I'm using over the description. You can take the link directly and download it from the description itself. Now coming to the point, first command would be sudo su. So this is the first command which you are going to use. After that, you just need to install. Uh, let's let's update the machine first. Let's see if there are some issues or if there is some older version. In that case, updating the Linux machine is something you should take care of each and every time. Yum install sgdpd which is an Apache server. Let's install our Apache server as well. Now our Apache server is also installed. Now, if you see, so it's being like, it's being installed properly. We can see that uh, with the use with the use of which HTTPD command. Now coming back to the system. Now, if you go back here, okay. And when you go to this where, okay, in that where you will find this www under that HTML. So currently there is nothing. Now if you, okay, there is nothing in this. So what you can do also do is you can do a CD, okay, where so in this in this particular directory we would be launching our website. Now what I can do is I can just open this. I already have the website with me. I would be using that particular website. In your case, you can use or uh, your own website or you can use my website which I would be sharing with you. Now this is a website of zip. Let me upload it. So you can see at the bottom. Okay, it's showing the permission is denied. Let me just check it once. Okay guys, so let me just show you if I am uploading anything here, it is giving me an error. Let's say this again, it will give us an, okay. Yeah, it's being done successfully here. Now we are not getting any error. So if you will try it like two, three times, you will stop getting an error here. Now what you can do is after this, you need to unzip this file or what you can do is you need to click on this use sudo. So if you are clicking on this use sudo, you will stop getting this error. So for example, let's say if I'm creating any folder for now, let's say test folder and click on OK, it will give you an error. Every time it would be giving you an error. But if you click here, use sudo for SSH browser. Basically the sudo commands was not there. So you need to click on this key here so that you can drag and drop, even drag and drop will work. And even if you want to upload it directly from uh, the way which I am uploading by clicking here on uh, sorry, by clicking on to the upload to the current folder, you would be able to upload the file. Now, let me just clear this out. Now, I will use unzip website.zip. Okay, as soon as I unzip this and I refresh this, you will see some of the files getting created here. Now, what I can do is I can just delete the previous file and again, if I do a service HTTPD status, you will see it's inactive right now. My HTTPD is inactive right now. So you can just put HTTPD start. And when you start it, it will be like this. Okay. Redirecting to it. Now, if you do again, HTTPD service, you would be able to see. Okay. Sorry, status. Okay. It's running right now. Okay, my HTTPD is running right now. Let's see if our website is also running. If I copy this public IP and I paste it here. Yes, my website is also running. So this is the complete lab. Thank you for your time and don't